so we are going, we just let the chickens out and we're going to let this, their chicken coop air out all day. And we're gonna put some fresh straw and stuff over the chicken squats. And now we're going to um, um, move the chicken tractor, the meat chicken tractor. Oh, they're ready. All right, morning ladies. alfalfa pellets and the Rain. grains all mixed up in there. So she can get oh she smells it. She smells it. She smells it. She's getting excited. A little bit of persuasion here. Drill. Oh, it's out. Great. No. Getting momentum. And away. Okay, come on, buddy. Who's here? You just gotta come and get it. You know it's here. You know what you have to do. She's like, no, no. Yes. I don't. I don't know. I'm looking away. There we go. We should have probably started with that. <laughs> Goat. This is the, the official 
the official way to get, to get in and out. Look at all that foamy milk. Thou Cordelia. Yeah. Oh, Looking for. They all want to get into where the, the grain is, but none of them make milk, so too bad for you. Hello, goat. Hello. You have your turn, Catherine, but... Nope, she's, she's headbutting me. She was a second ago. You gonna do it again? No. You're just gonna try to jump on top of my back. Here. Go for it. Go for it. Woo! Oh, you're gonna fall off. The problem is, we have decided we're not gonna have her do that. Yeah. Never. Before she gets too big. Never. She will always jump up on me. <clears throat> yeah. It's like, having, it's like having a cat. How much she rubs up against the legs. Watch this. Hello, baby. Nope, that's water. Soapy water. That's soapy water. <laughs> Can you get the grain bowl, Liam? Yes. Okay. Does it have any grain left in it? Oh. Uh huh. You've been, you've been duped. What's you up to? I've been spraying the rose shrubs for aphids. I have a little bit of Dr. Bronner's in here and I'm spraying them to try to keep those aphids off. So not only do I use this, but whenever I'm walking around the yard and I find a ladybug, I pick it up and put it on a rose bush and they go to town eating it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put the 
back in down first. That way we'll see where the gaps are even better. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's a pretty good spot. Nice and level. Yeah. A little bit there, huh? The back, we'll grab some of the wood pieces. I don't know what's going on. Do your thing, meat birds. So we've got the meat birds out here on pasture, helping them to, or actually uh, having them improve pasture as we move things along uh, day by day, one tractor unit each day. We just moved a couple um, units because we're on uh, what used to be a, a round pen or a lunging pen for horses. So it's got a lot of decomposed granite. It's not great, so great soil by any means. And I want to get them onto the best stuff, the most viable. Uh, pasture and then we can come back to this but it's getting closer and closer to summer and so our green is is disappearing we're gonna transition to the very very hot part of our year so I want to get those inputs um, into the soil and right now the soil over there is uh, growing a lot of green for the chickens so I want to bring those two things together so we're moving them across uh, this section faster they're at about four weeks old I have to look at the calendar four weeks old maybe a tad older so they're about halfway through their process. Looking good. So, you got the cheese hanging in the faucet. And just the cheese is just having a great time. Straining. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of in the sun. I don't know about all this. Mm. Hmm. We're staring at cheese. I need a curtain. A curtain. I need a curtain. I keep curtain. saying I'm going to make a curtain and I haven't yet. Yeah. It's for we can get this cheese into a different sink. So it's not in the sun. Just putting it. Yeah. yeah. You're smart. <laughs> All right. There it is. Now, as long as the three year old doesn't come over here and turn the faucet on, we're good. Yeah. Or anyone else. I'm going to go ahead and take the cheese out of the cheesecloth and I'm going to set it here and see if I can make a, a log of the goat cheese with it and then put it in the fridge when I get back. I probably should have paid more attention to how much time this is taking. Ooh, look at it. I don't know if you can see it very well. There it is. Right. Oh, salt. I can't forget the salt. Oh, isn't that neat? Yeah. Don't touch it. <laughs> you have to have clean hands to touch the cheese, my dear. I will wash my hands off. Good. Wash them well, my love. All right. I'm going to want to use a wooden spoon. It just seems so cool. All right. Do you? <laughs> it's actually quite a bit of cheese. I'm impressed. Oh, it's kind of coming out the ends here. Okay. Well, 
we have the cheese in the refrigerator. Here is one of them. In, um, what's it called? Um, Saran wrap. And this one is in Saran wrap and it is in a sushi roll up thing. And we have just put them in the fridge and just waiting until they're ready to put on our pizza. So that should be really good. Don't you think so, Laura? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have the goat cheese <laughs> and I'm gonna try a little of it with a cracker. Whoa. We've tried a little on its own, I will admit. Well, I Gotta try a little. So it's a fresh cheese, so it does make me think a lot of uh, mozzarella. Um, it's not very, it doesn't taste floaty at all. I really like our goat milk. Yeah, it just has that fresh cheese, fresh cheese taste to it. Um, this is Friday night pizza night, so I'm gonna try this cheese on our pizza and I'll let you know how that goes. All right, so we've got this cheese in this bowl. And we've got our crackers and we are going to try this. Go get your cracker, Laurel. We are going to try this. <laughs> And we are trying to try this. Oh my little... Whoa! Where'd the cheese go? Put it on the cracker. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, just eat it. So, what I think about that is really good. I think it's good? Mm -hmm. I could eat this all day. I said I was gonna put it on pizza, and there's the goat cheese on the pizza. It's time to bake it and see how it tastes. It's not time to mess around and pretend that it's not a thing. It is, it's 50 degrees, blowing, raining. 